Let's talk about how Justin Trudeau avoids every single question he's asked in Parliament. He cannot give a straight answer, unlike Pierre Polyev, who can easily do a yes or no. Staff as well as advisors. Yes. Sujet. No. Or at least give a figure. In this clip, I'm going to show you in a minute. Justin Trudeau can't give a straight answer. He can't give the answer that Polyev is asking him for in question time. He deflects, 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 and it's all he, it's all he can do because he knows that the answer that he's going to give is going to be embarrassing for the arrive scam. Yeah, that's what they're asking questions about still. This isn't going away. Trudeau, this could be the hill that Trudeau finishes his, uh, his term on because a rive scam is absolutely clinging to his coattail all the way up to the next election. Let's have a listen to what Polyev has to say, the questions and the ridiculous answer that Trudeau's giving to Polyev. What? Like, who answers like this? What's wrong with a number or check, check some, chip some figures, bring some figures in? No, he does this. What is the full and final cost of a rive scam? Here. The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I've uh, addressed these questions, but I will highlight that part of the uh, Conservatives' attacks uh, on this situation uh, is because they deeply deplore all the measures we put in to keep Canadians safe during the pandemic. We remember how they gave in to conspiracy theories, spreading anti-vaxxer conspiracies, uh, standing against <laughs> measures that we needed to put forward to keep Canadians safe. Yes, as we did all those things, we needed... needed we made sure that rules were followed and any rules that weren't followed there are consequences uh, and there are investigations ongoing we will continue to keep canadian safety at the fore the honorable leader of the opposition what was the full and final cost of the app the right honorable prime minister Mr. Speaker, that, are, uh, that is among the questions that there are direct follow-ups, uh, investigations ongoing right now, both internal and external, to ensure uh, that as rules were evidently broken, uh, there are consequences, there is an accountability for this. There is no, no doubt that there are serious challenges around procurement and the public service uh, that were evident at that time. We need to make sure that is fixed. We need to move forward uh, in a way that, that takes uh, better responsibility responsibility uh, for uh, the kinds of challenges that we saw in this situation. The Honourable Leader of the Opposition. How much? <laughs> the Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, uh, during the pandemic, we were there to invest, to protect Canadians and keep their lives safe, despite the objections and the conspiracy theorism of the Conservative Party, we stepped up in many, many different ways. But even as we did, we expected and we continue to expect that rules around procurement be followed by the public service. It is uh, obvious that that was not the case here. That is why there are ongoing investigations, there will be consequences, and there will be changes made uh, to the public services systems. I think it's time for the Prime Minister of Canada to start owning up to things that it, that's going on. At least being, what, how does he put it? Hmm. At, at least be transparent about what's going on with his government scams and little backbench, backbencher dealings that he's got going on behind the scenes. And at least tell Canadians to their faces, not so that we have to just keep reading them all the time, at least tell to their faces exactly how much taxpayers' money is being spent on these ridiculous apps and ridiculous ways of supposedly providing services to Canadians. Anyway, till next time.